everyone! So, about last month, I was invited to the new Muji store on Tottenham Court Road. And basically, we were allowed to have a look around, enjoy some Christmas treats, and buy anything if you wanted to with a lovely little discount. Always love a good discount. Very dangerous, but very, very nice. So, um, I did, I picked up some bits. But this is a mixture as well of things that were either in goodie bags or things like that. So it's a big old mixture, but it's a lot. Let me show you. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I love Muji. I'm going to start off with the things that I actually bought with the discount at the launch. So uh, the first thing is... This gorgeous little white dish bowl. I'm that kind of person that loves to have jewellery in little dishes or out on little jewellery holders or displays and I really kind of wanted something for my desk just to have on my um, jewellery and if I'm wearing something a lot at the moment I wanted to have something I could put it in and this is just gorgeous. Really simple. I think it is from their kitchen range. I think it's their tableware range thing, kitchen stuff. Um, but yeah, I just thought it, it was absolutely perfect, um, so I, I'm really excited to have this on my desk and have put all my little jewellery bits and pieces in there. Really great for rings, I think, because I always lose my rings, so perfect place to keep them. Now Muji is probably most well known for their makeup storage and other bits of storage that they do. I love their storage. I have Muji drawers and I also have the other separate drawers and kind of boxes so I needed one to kind of put some of my um, palettes in. I got this um, uh, makeup box which is, it's not like the clear one but I think it's their, it's their Perspex one I think. Um, it's got little handles at the side but it's just perfect. I have one of these already and it's so good. I can f fit so much into these. I think they're actually cheaper than the really clear ones so little tip for you there. Also I don't know if you could see my new dress rail in the background, also Muji. Um, it was about £35 with the discount I had I think? No, I can't remember if that's the original price. I'll link it below. It's a shame that today is so dark that I can't really show you that well, but basically it is, I'll put a picture here from the site, but basically it's just a single rail one and it's got a little rack at the bottom which I put my shoes on and it is just perfect whenever I'm planning outfits or I just need to hang something up that I've just ironed it is just perfect for keeping it nice and crease free it's really good and it's very, I like that visual whole thing of having your outfits out, I really like that um, so yeah I've been really loving that and um, that is probably my most favourite purchase out of all the stuff I bought from Yuji or been gifted. The next thing is a bit Christmassy and in the store they had some of their kind of homeware laid out like in on beds and kind of set up and on one of the beds I saw this throw and I loved it. It wasn't your typical Christmas throw but it's got the Christmassy colours so it, it, it'll kind of blend in kind of throughout the winter season without being too in your face Christmassy. Like I can use this after Christmas, it's gonna be great. Um, and basically, it is absolutely massive. Um, but it's basically, it's um, kind of an orangey color. It's not, it's quite red, but it's not really, really red. Um, and then this dark navy, and then a beige running throughout, and then it's got little tassel bits. At, oh, this is not gonna work. It's, it's so huge it's falling off me. It's got little tassel -y bits at the edges and it is just so snuggly, it's really nice. I think I I couldn't find any actually on the shelves so I asked um, one of the people there if I could take it off the bed and they said yes so um, I bought that. This next item I really hummed and hard about. Um, I've not really kind of had a proper look at Muji's clothing range and on the bottom floor of the Tottenham Court Road store is all their clothing basically. And I have a cape already and I saw this one and I actually saw a different one on a mannequin um, and I couldn't find it again, I couldn't find it but I saw this one and I actually preferred it. So basically it is almost, it's kind of a mixture between a blanket scarf and a cape. So it's got, you can wear it normally, there's, I think there's a few ways you can wear this. I've got showed how to wear it. Um, so you can basically wear it 
as a normal blanket scarf. Let me show you the colour. Hang on a second. So yeah, it's basically um, like this big grey and kind of lighter grey check. Really, really nice. Love it. Um, I, I've Again, I've really got into grey. It's just the thing that's happened. I've got into grey and I like it. How sombre. <laughs> so yeah, you can wear it as a normal blanket scarf, but it also has these little armholes here. So you can wear it. You can put your arms through it and wear it as a cape. But what you can also do, if you, um, you can link the other end of the scarf through here, and so you kind of have it wrapped around you, almost like calf, knitted top half, really big scarf. It's so flexible, you can wear this however you want. It's got little tassels as well, I love a bit of fringing. Really got into fringing again this season as well. Lastly from my little haul that I bought, um, again I went back to storage and they have these amazing woven basket. So I decided to pick up this wo 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 blah, blah. I decided to pick up this woven basket and again really great for just putting odds and ends in and it makes them look really pretty. You know, because you don't sometimes it's not nice to have bits and pieces around. You just kind of want to put them in somewhere and this is pretty much perfect. I did see that they had lids for them, but they're not really proper lids. They're almost ones that kind of sit on the top of it and it didn't really seem that secure um, so I just got an open top one and if I want to get a lid for it later I'll go back and get one. Let's move on to the bits that were gifted to me. So um, it's got mainly stationery I think but there are a couple of other bits in there as well. So firstly I'm going to grab this. This is their 2016 diary. I love their stationery. Really simple very aesthetically pleasing, which is basically what Bougie is all about. Um, but yeah, this is their um, diary. They do have leather ones, which I do really like, but this is just as gorgeous. It, um, it's it got a, a week along two pages, and you can, it's all time slotted as well. You've also got like a month as well over um, two pages as well so if you want to add like key things in like birthdays or things really important events to remember um, then yeah that's you can put them in without having to worry about using such a little space because you've got big spaces in there. I'm a big collector of pens didn't you know? <laughs> um, so I was gifted this uh, I think it's a blue pen I think I'm not really sure um, let me see let me test it yeah it's a blue pen. <laughs> um, yeah, again, um, they're very aesthetically pleasing. I don't know what else I can say about a pen, but good to have a pen. This is very exciting. Um, as I was saying about their stationery, it's very simple. So this is their notebooks. I think I've pretty much got one of each. I think I've actually got two of each of one. Uh, but yeah, so here, I'm going to try and space them out for you so you can see. There. So these are all the colours I think in the range, um, but yeah, they're all A4. They are. They have. Um, I think they're quite. I think they're wide lines, but I love that the fact that the lines go all the way to the top. You know, when you have a notebook and they have that big bit at the top, and you kind of feel like that's a bit wasted space. These all have lines pretty much all the way to the top to the bottom. So I don't think I'm going to run out of notebooks anytime soon. Right, the last couple of bits were the ones that I was so excited to see in the gift bag. Originally I was going to buy them and then um, my friend said no, don't buy them because I think they're in the gift bag that you get. So, firstly, um, Muji, if you didn't know, do a skincare range. Um, they do a normal sensitive skin one and then one that is high moisture if you really need that extra boost of moisture. Um, but yeah, in the goodie bag I got the, oh, that's a hair, we're going to get rid of you, thank you. So in the goodie bag I got the uh, moisturising milk, which is in like a, is quite a light formula, and also the light toning water. Um, I've heard a lot of things about this, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, again, the bottles are just so beautiful, like clear plastic, a silver lid literally what it says what it is there done last but not least i got a candle <laughs> oh my god i love candles um they have some amazing candles in muji um ones that there are some amazing ones that really stick out color wise 
um, again they kind of match the colour of the scent to the colour of the wax. How simple can you get? So this is the elderflower one and I, lo I love elderflower, I love elderflower cordial and I love how it smells. It's just very fragrant but it's just a really unique scent. I don't, you don't really smell anything like elderflower around. And again, it's like a creamy wax. And yeah, it's in a tin as well. I do love tin and jar candles. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to burn this. There we go. That is all of the stuff I got from Muji. Um, I, it's sort of Christmassy. Like I got a couple of Christmassy things and some of it is from the Christmassy range. Um, so do check it out. I will link all of the products below. Um, yeah, and if you've got anything from Muji recently, do let me know what you got because I am, I can spend a bit in Muji. That's probably the one place that I would happily invest in. I will get shares in Muji if need be. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favourite item was and if you've bought anything from Muji recently and what you thought of it. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, do click subscribe and you're going to get all my new videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!